hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to tell you about how to draw a meta material using HFSS and to extract parameters using Nicholson Ross Ware method so here we are using a coding for that using MATLAB by which we will extract the parameters so here we have a square splittering resonator with a rod on the other side so here we are using an FR for substrate and this orange color represents the copper split ring and this second figure represents the rod made of copper on the back side so the dimensions are given here L1, L2, L3 etc so you can go through that so let us see how to draw it using HFSS for this ad for that I'm using HFSS 15 so you can go to project insert F HFSS design so here is what we are going to draw first we will draw a cube for the substrate so we will draw it and uh, we will replace it with the dimensions so the position is 0 0.0.0, 0. the x size is 2.5 millimeter y size is 2.5 millimeter and z size is 0.25 millimeter so this is our sub substrate so you can take this box and you can edit it edit this substrate as FR4 which is having a permittivity of 4.4 so FR4 epoxy you can press OK for that OK now we are going to draw the square split ring for that first you have to draw a rectangle so we'll get that shape so we'll get this shape after drawing a rectangle then subtracting another rectangle so wherever we don't want this rectangle we will subtract it using another rectangle that, that is how we are using that is the logic by which we are going to construct this figure so first rectangle you can take that one so the position or 0 0.15 0 0.15 and the other one is 0 0.25 and x size is 2.2 millimeter y size is 2.2 millimeter and then you can press it ok so you got a rectangle here you can see a rectangle here now we will uh, draw another rectangle inside and we will subtract it so we are going to draw first you can make a rectangle like this and then you can change the dimensions so here the position is 0 0.35 0 0.35 and 0.25 1.8 1.8 or the dimensions here so we'll put a ok and we have to make a slit here at this place so we'll draw another one rectangle and then we'll change the dimensions here the dimensions are 1.1 the position point 1.5 and 0.25 the x value is 0.3 and y value is 0.2 you can press ok so we have got three rectangles here so what we are going to do is we are going to subtract the first triangle with the second and third first you click first rectangle then you press control key of your computer then press rectangle 2 and rectangle 3 
and you can go to this one this is called subtract so you can see rectangle 1 is subtracted by rectangle 2 and 3 if you press ok you will get the first outer outer ring square ring now we are going to draw the second ring inside so for that we have to make these three rectangles again first rectangle and the position is Point five, point five, and point two five. Here the x size is one point five, and y size is again one point five. And you can press OK. So this is the first rectangle. Again, you have to draw a rectangle inside of this, and you can change the position of that. So it starts at. 0.7 again 0.7 again 0.25 and the x value is 1.1 millimeter y value is 1.1 millimeter press ok so we got a second rectangle and you have to make a slit here so for that we will make another one rectangle and the position for that is 1.1 comma 1.8 comma 0.25 the x value is 0.3 and the y value is 0.2 I can press ok so we are going to subtract rectangle 5 and 6 from 4 so first you click rectangle 4 then you press control 5 and 6 go to subtract so 4 is subtracted by no 5 and 6 is subtracted from 4 so you'll get the second ring now we have to make a rod on the other side so for that we'll draw a rectangle again so the rod is somewhere like this so let us change the position of the rod the rod position is 1.18 and then all other values are 0 and 0 because it is on the other side the position will be on 0 and the x size is 0.14 and y size is 2.5 that is the length of the super uh, of the substrate if you press ok it will be on the other side you can find the rod here the rod is on the other side so this is our structure which we have to simulate for that first we will create a radiation boundary so we have to draw another one box for the radiation boundary then we will change the dimensions of the box the box dimension <coughs> here is 0 comma 0 comma 0 and x size will be 2.5 y size 2.5 and z size is 2.5 and the position of a is z you can change this as negative 1 you can press ok you can take that box and you can change this radiation boundary as air and you can press ok and you can make this transparency greater so that you can see what is inside that very clearly so this is a structure we have to simulate so before simulation we have to assign different sides so what we are going to do is we are going to assign electrical boundary on the opposite sides of the slit and we are going to assign magnetic boundary on the top and bottom and we are going to excite it from this direction from the x direction so for that what you have to do is you can take this side and you can right click select face and you can select this face first and you can right click it and you can take assign boundary perfect E ok similarly you can go to the opposite side of that click this face assign boundary perfect E ok now you have to take the top and bottom surfaces 
so top one you can take that assign boundary perfect H that is magnetic boundary okay similarly you can take this bottom side and you can assign boundary as perfect H input okay now you have to excite it on this X direction so you'll take this select this face and you can take assign excitation take it as wave port next from this you can take new line and you can draw a line from this position towards this position next finish and you can take the opposite side of that and you can draw other line so you can take this face you can select this face you can select this face right click assign excitation wave port next define new line from this point to this point it's defined here next finish so you have assigned it and now here if you see the sheets the triangle which the square split ring which we have drawn is not assigned so you can take select everything you can take right click and you can assign boundary perfectly so it will be assigned uh, as a conductive surface so no, no need of selecting the copper or anything it will be automatically assigned so now we are moving on to the analysis part so you can click this plus sign here so go to analysis right click add solution setup you can take solution frequency as 10 gigahertz and take this maximum number of passes 20 and uh, can press ok then you can press this plus sign here setup right click add frequency sweep you can sweep interpolating so you can take this as a linear step start 1 gigahertz stop you can take it as 20 gigahertz and step size is 0.1 gigahertz and you can press ok now you can take this validate so you'll get all green ticks if you're not getting all green ticks your uh, assignment is wrong in other case you can close it now we are going to run this so you can click this analyze all before that you have to save this project you can take some folders in your computer can take some and you can assign it as meta 1 and you can save it and now it starts simulating so it takes some time for simulation please wait for that and then we will show the result so once uh, the simulation is over you will get a message like this normal completion of simulation on server so the simulation is completed after that we are going to check the result go to results right click create model simula solution data report rectangular plot so you can take s parameter s11 and you can take magnitude of that you can create new report and now you can take s12 magnitude add trace and this is your S11 and S12 plot for the square split ring so this is the results which we obtained similar to that of the paper published by Smith in 2005 in his, elect in his parameter retrieval paper of uh, meta material so you can check that paper all the results which we are obtaining are similar to that now go to this results right click model simulation you can take a data table s11 you take magnitude new report and then you have to take the angle of that angle radian at trace similarly s12 magnitude of that first new report 
S12 angle radian at trace. Now you have two table data table 1 and data table 2. Now you can export these two into another folder. So right click export. So you can uh, export into a folder where you have your MATLAB program. So you can uh, save it as S11. So I already had S11, S12, so I'm replacing it. So data table one, 2, right click, export. We export it as, a, it as CSV file. Then only the coding will work. So S12, save, yes. Now you can take your MATLAB. And here we have a parameter estimation program. So which will give you real permittivity, imaginary permittivity, real permeability, imaginary permeability, real refractive index, imaginary refractive index and real impedance and imaginary impedance. So you can run this and add to path and you will get different figures for that. So this is the dispersion diagram and this gives the parameter estimation so this is real and imaginary permeability so here you can see from 8 point so from 9 gigahertz to 10 11 gigahertz you have a negative permeable negative refractive index so if you observe the paper which is uh, in uh, 2005 by Smith you can see that we all got the exact waveforms like permeability, permittivity, refractive index and the impedance. So that's all in this video. So in this video we have uh, drawn the square splittering resonator and then we observed the waveforms and we have extracted the different parameters. So if you need the code, you can. I will give my email ID in the description. You can mail to me, so that I will give you the code. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. That will be a great support for me. Bye.